is crazy. The German Spiegel magazine has the audacity to double down on its statement targeting Elon Musk that he is the number two enemy just behind Donald Trump. I've known Elon for over 20, 25 years. Once yes, you know something is working when the mainstream media is putting out coordinated effort to bring you down. Now, taking a look at this article, CNN, ABC, Food, they are saying the same thing. They are now saying, Elon Musk giving out a million dollars every day might be illegal. I don't know. I have a couple of videos I'm going to show you extremely concerning. I've known Elon for over 20, 25 years, one of uh, America's great entrepreneurs and innovators. Uh, but this is not the person I knew even two years ago. Uh, and and I, with respect to, to Elon, um, I, I just don't have the confidence that there's other things that he's not up to uh, uh, behind the scenes, not just, again, what he's expressing quite publicly. And I'm very concerned about a country where people like Elon Musk, others that are sucking up to Donald Trump, uh, that will undoubtedly be carved out of regulations, undoubtedly get massive, even larger uh, federal contracts. Uh, I mean, it is an American oligarchy uh, that can uh, be formed here. It's, again, very, very serious. It's not just a lighthearted bromance or friendship between billionaires. The strategic partnership... <laughs> hey! The world's richest man and one of the most popular people on social media. And... FEMA is shutting down airspace to stop people from bringing help. Yeah, yeah, he tweets that. <laughs> anyway, his October surprise is he's come out MAGA. Election interference is what Mark Zuckerberg did. Former President Trump... Spreading dangerous conspiracies through the social media platform he owns. And in turn, Trump has promised him the lead role of a government efficiency commission in a future Trump administration should Trump win. It's an arrangement that raises a lot of questions. Yes, you can clearly see how these people are mounting down. There is another video I'm going to show you. But before I do that, Makubak sent this out. I'm pretty sure that why it may or may not violate voting laws, it may violate gaming laws in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, all forms of gambling are illegal unless specifically authorized by law. The Pennsylvania Lottery, bingo, slot, table games, and small games of chance are forms of gambling, gaming authorized by law. Okay, Mark sent this out a day before, received massive backlash after this tweet went viral. This question surfaced to him today to defend himself. He was now changing his tone, partaking to this. Let me play this. Let's talk about Elon Musk. Uh, he's been critical of you. You've been critical of him. What do you make in particular of uh, this weekend's uh, new effort to get people to the polls that he is using a million dollars a day? He's uh, offering up uh, for those who effectively sign his petition and register to vote. I mean, it's innovative and it's desperate. You know, you only do that because you think you have to, but, you know, using the sweepstakes is not a bad idea. Um, whether or not it'll work is a whole nother thing. It just as easily could backfire, but you don't know do until you, you try. Do you think it's legal? I mean, I actually looked into it. I initially thought it might not have been, but as a sweepstakes, it looks like it may be. But from a FEC perspective, I have no idea. Watching the mainstream media today to see what legal scholars will say, particularly to this, they are all acknowledging that this does not violate any laws. They are having concern, like on that petition where he said, you must be a registered voter and they swing state, things like that. So when I see these people with less knowledge, vomiting this is insane. Like the view, they are changing the narrative this is not how it is. This is crazy. The German Spiegel magazine has the audacity to double down on its statement targeting Elon Musk that he is the number two enemy just behind Donald Trump. This is a serious because yes, it is a subtle, carefully worded instruction to the reader to plan some kind. The Spiegel magazine doesn't seem to agree because the truth is that Elon Musk is a threat to them as he is the enemy of mainstream. And this, people keep trying to buy the election. Yeah. Billionaire Elon Musk has gone all in for you know who, and now he's giving out 
a million dollars a day to people who sign his super PACs petition. What? Now, I thought that was against the law, but apparently this they've found some new loop stuff that allowed this to go. I thought you couldn't do this. What's happening? Well, I think that's what you do when you have no plan for the public, when you have no economic plan that's going to benefit the middle class, when you have no plan to protect reproductive rights, when you have no plan to address climate change and produce American energy, um, you go to these type of tactics. It's Here's all the about concept. Aren't they, Here's uh, a concept of a plan. Yeah. Aren't these tactics against the law, though? Aren't you? Well, because... I'll, let the, I'll let the lawyers decide, but it sure, look, I think. G- giving of, giving water away well, to that's voters and lawyers yeah. against the law. The, giving, isn't this the same no, thing? No, because they're signing a petition, so you're not you're technically not buying the vote. Frankly, there's nothing that can stop people from signing the petition, getting the million bucks, and then voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> but make sure make sure you're not putting yourself in a trick bag. Yeah. Where they say, oh, by the way, you didn't read this little tiny print? Don't sign Jack until you know what you're <laughs> signing and how it's going to affect you. When you look at this carefully, you will realize these people are not happy that this doesn't violate any law. Whoopi Guba is not happy about that. The one that Elon Musk should go down for, for doing this. When I read through all that petition, what it says, it doesn't even link like you can do that if you are a Republican or so Democrat. It's just to encourage people to take decisions based on where they belong. That is based on my understanding. I don't know how is it legal. Now the questions of Elon Musk doing it at this time after endorsing Trump is where these people are focused on. And studies came out today that Republican registered about 27,000 people last month, while Democrat were coming up with about 14,000. So you see the difference. And that is as a result of the effort Elon was put up to encourage people to register without even any, you know, when a Democrat or a Republican, you should do that. And, you know, the other question is, were you better off four years ago? Are you going to be better off in a penitentiary four years from now or still having the right of free speech and the right of political dissent? Because that's literally what's, what's on the ballot. And I suspect in 1941, I don't know if people thought they were better off than they were four years ago or in 1861, what people thought. But I know this, when the republic was threatened, people picked up arms and answered the call, or, or, you know, when... 1965, in the middle of the civil rights movement, I think people decided they want to take matters in their own hands and create a better country. And that's what I hope we do here in the next few weeks. Really listen to this. He's now saying if Trump is elected, hmm, this is just to create fear into people. Trump was there for four years. We didn't see that. So it is now that he will change. We see Elon Musk coming in here. I mean, we got to talk about what this guy's doing, right? He's not only just dumping millions and millions of dollars here in the state of Pennsylvania, acting like he's from here, acting like he knows what Pennsylvania is about. It's not just what he's doing. He's doing these little, I don't know, these little contests where he's promising people a million dollars in, a, in some kind of lottery giveaway if they sign up for his list. And I want us to put together what those two things are like. When you have a billionaire just dangling a million bucks, bucks to those of us and many of us who are struggling to make ends meet if they dance for him. Mm-hmm. You've got Donald Trump. Yeah, I see. He's pretending here like she is poor. We saw what happened at the Met Gala. The kind of dress she had for received backlash on social media. Now trying to pretend for these people with this kind of language. Insane. Thank you guys for always been there sharing out my videos. God bless you abundantly. All these weird right wing swamp creatures lately, thanks to Donald Trump. None of these guys, and none of them spend even a minute pushing back on his nonsense. All right, everyone, November 5th, election mania. Choice is yours. You can go with President Trump, 
Kane and The Undertaker, or you can take Kamala Harris, Faith Batista, and Tim Walls. He released a video. I don't know if you've seen this. Let's take a look at this. The first thing that Donald Trump has ever done is divided this country. America when um the actor in the arab american community and i was really surprised this week to get an earful to hear them say that they would much rather either vote a third party not vote at all or vote for donald trump about uh what he said before the speech to black men is there a democratic party extreme left Tom is nearly dominating this lady in all the polls. be and i gotta say it's not looking that great for the democrats I no dems are not scared to death is it a good announcement? Well, this is the problem. Holmes Enterprise. If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else. That's are now stepping forward. 18 before. Trump. I don't care if they write that. No, it was right, and you got. I'm going to shake it off. It's like 73% so they're voting for Trump. For Trump. Okay, yeah. Kamala, oh. You hired me four times. I tell him, I'm like, I'll just. How dumb are you? <laughs>